when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me good with y'all all right so what are we getting into today today is gonna be day one of us messing with the 370z for the first time uh you guys seen that i had a lot of parts that arrived and i need to clear out some space in my damn living room because boxes just everywhere so uh today we're gonna be getting some of the arrow on there you guys are gonna get an idea of kind of what this thing's gonna be looking like love you too <laughs> Let me see. Let me see your nose. You got any boogers? Go. Uh, no, I don't have Go. Uh, Go, boy. Quit playing with me. <laughs> oh. I got a call on the door. Hold on. All right, so we just get here to Hexa. We'll go in here and say what's up to these peoples. Then we'll pull all the parts out of the 370Z and get to getting. Yeah, you don't like being like that, huh? <laughs> Why you so mean? Why you so mean? You want me to be down to your level, huh? I ain't made her squirt. Is that what that was? <laughs> Did you just pee on me? Old school, John. All right, we gotta move the skyline right here. It's pretty nice. Look at this, check this out. Ooh, for my RB people. Nice little RB25. Get this out, and then we're gonna move the 370Z out. I'm gonna wash this thing, and then we'll throw the new parts on. See how, see how we can get this thing looking a little little baby transformation get it looking a little bit more like my style simple and clean that's the that's the whole thing for this car people think i'm playing like no bro no you're gonna go wide body bro nothing you keep simple and clean we'll see we're gonna try simple and clean he goes right in the way way bro we're going there to wash it whatever we'll pull the z like right here and then we'll just push everything back in. <laughs> you hired him. I don't know this guy. You hired him, yo. Does this thing weld it? Straighten it, straighten it, yeah. stop. Hey, bro, this hand is SMD. Man, we gotta put an LSD in this thing, yo. We're pushing because George left the freaking jump starter thing thing. Straight. Straight. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. Right? I crank it. Crank that soldier boy. Oh god. Who welded this? You welded this diff? Yeah. Why? Why'd you do that? It's come with LSDs. Did his life, man. Jesus. What happens when you pop an LSD? All right, we got this big thing out. Wash this thing up real quick. This thing ain't had a bath probably since 2017. Let's let it roll back a little bit. That way it ain't in the shop. Lomo, Lomo, right there. All right, so we gave this thing a little baby wash. Man, paint don't look that bad, actually. Paint looks pretty damn clean. Not too shabby. 
could easily get, you know, things cut and buffed out. But yeah, it's not too bad. Just color match that front bumper. Wheels be on the way, but anywho, let's grab these parts out of the car and start getting some of the stuff on here and see if we can get this thing looking a bit more aggressive. All right, so these are the pieces we're gonna be adding on. So we have a rear, uh, a rear spoiler, a rear diffuser that goes over here. We also have the little uh, add-on pieces for the rear bumper. We have side splitters. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be throwing on. Uh, I love the way 370Zs look factory, so I don't wanna take too much off of it. You can already see it already has like a wide booty. So, I mean, ain't no point in really doing a wide body kit on this car, especially if I can get the wheels I want to fit on here. You know, overall, I want this car to look good, but not stand out like crazy. And I want it to just be something that I could drive around with. I ain't got to worry about people spotting it too much. You know, something that just blends in. So, yeah, that's all I'm doing is this little full lip kit. I'm going to lower this thing when, when I get my wheels and all that, and we'll go from there. But uh, I think first, I'm going to get, let's get this spoiler on first. That way we don't got to be landing in the, in the mud. Socks in, put the double side tape on here for us, but... So this is the wing George is trying to have me put on here. It's for sale, if anybody wants it. <laughs> Not if I keep it. <laughs> you gotta throw it on the car, you gotta drill the holes. Bro. Look how sick that is. That's not sick. That is really sick. <laughs> It's not sick on stock body. What do you mean? Uh, it's it's narrower. Like I don't think it's gonna hold it. Oh yeah. That was definitely a shopping cart. Hell no, dude. Look at it from the front. This thing lowered on some deep fish wheels, just like this. Nah, it's ugly. Right. This doesn't scream Mike Mike. Dude, yeah, no, absolutely not. It's ugly. All right. Turn it into a Subaru. For sale, 200 bucks. <laughs> lined up pretty evenly yep that'll work for now all right next on the list we got the sides and we have the diffuser i think i'll put the diffuser on first work my way from the center and then out to the sides so yeah let's get the diffuser on next And then here's a little add-on diffuser piece right here. Not doing carbon or anything. Just doing regular shit. All right, so this is kind of what the diffuser is looking like. Uh, there's no, there's no mounts or anything, or there's no bolts or anything in there right now. It's just literally sitting on the exhaust. So once I uh, tap the underneath in here, that'll snug that side up and the same thing for right here. And then in the center, there's kind of like a little, maybe like a little bowl right here, but I mean, I could tack that up also or throw the double side tape on there to get it to sit, but looks like it's gonna fit pretty good and it actually goes real good with this wing. And man, I'm not, you know, by no means am I trying to do anything like crazy wild uh, for this car, so. Like all this stuff is hella cheap. You can get this shit on eBay for dirt cheap. Literally just a full lip kit. Um, you know, a little lip kit goes a long way. You gotta see how Nita car look. Nita car has like full eBay kit and 
managed to do pretty good. And for the 370Z, I like the way they look factory. So I uh, kind of just want to add a little to it. And then, you know, that'll be that. Like nothing crazy, nothing fancy, just something simple and clean to give it a little, little more than stock. But the diffuser does look good. And this is the area I was telling you about that just needs to be cinched up. And then for the last piece of the rear, before we mount all that in, this is what I want to kind of get in. Get this, see how this lines up with uh, the diffuser. Not fully sure on it, but just something I kind of decided to gamble on and see if it would actually work together. And these are just the add-on pieces that go in the corner. Like I said, I don't know if these are gonna work with the diffuser. This is literally like a gamble. I feel like this would, let's see if it'll work. Ooh, close. It may work. It may actually work. Ooh, it might be on to something here. Might be on to something. I got ready to mount this up fully, and then I was like, you know what? There's maybe I shouldn't mount this up fully, because then when it's to go to the shop, it has to come back apart anyway. So, and I was like, eh, maybe I'll wait. Uh, we still got to put the exhaust and all that stuff on because the new exhaust is here. So, I'll probably just let you guys see what it's gonna look like. Kind of like how it's just sitting up here like this, and then I'll probably just pull it back off. But I am gonna mount the side splitters up completely so we can jack this up and get those on right now but as far as the diffuser and uh the add-on i'm gonna probably just wait to to secure that i don't want it to be in the way when i get ready to do the exhaust stuff what are you doing creeping up on niggas <laughs> what's up with y'all dogs barking at me y'all see enough black people yo <laughs> And these are the side splitters that are gonna be going on. These I'm about to mount up fully. So we're gonna get these on and yeah. I really like the way this looks though. I definitely like the way this looks. And all this stuff is polyurethane, so I ain't gotta worry about it breaking. All right, there we go. Splitters are all on. They definitely look hella good. The splitters look sick. This car looks, man, like with just the add-on shit, it makes it look so much aggressive. Like, look at this thing doesn't look bad. Like, if it had wheels that were fitted, lowered, closing these gaps up, like, it'll look, this thing will look sick. I mean, we don't have the, the low, uh, add-on on this side but we look at it on this side with add-on like the add-on just makes this thing look where i'm digging this and this is probably how this car is gonna look like everything just color matched and uh, matched all up literally like that's gonna be it tune it had this thing at a little over 400 and fitted wheels lower best of the suspension that's literally all i want to do with this thing I already know, I know some of y'all like, but you always say that, but this is gonna be like the car that's just, I could drive this around and I ain't gotta worry about it standing out so much. People are like, oh, that's Mike Mike's car. Like I wanna be able to just cruise and, you know, not get not get spotted. Kind of just, you know, a little privacy car. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's looking, it's looking good. I'm liking it. May possibly do a, do a hood, something to give it a little bit more, mm, but not fully sure on that so things that i already ordered already ordered a new airbag uh centerpiece for the steering wheel got that on the way cool part is this thing already has the ecu tech on it, it has a dongle and everything so i'm gonna hit up john from z1 and have him throw a, a, a 91 base tune on here for me interior for the most part is clean only thing i'd be changing is the the shift knob on this thing the thing's freaking ugly As far as engine bay goes, like I said, I already told y'all I wanna I wanna move these air filters out of the engine bay, so I gotta figure out a way to get them kind of over here in front of the intercooler. This does have an air-to-air -air setup. Usually these are air to water, but has the air-to-air -air setup for the VR30. So yeah. It's the only thing I really want to change. I got that cover on the way too. Cover up all this stuff. And we'll get this thing in the air and do it once over and go everything, make sure. There's nothing dangling or looking, looking boof underneath. 
but not too bad, not too bad. All right, so I did decide to just mount this up. That way everything's sitting on here. But yeah, I'm about to get ready to head out. So I'm about to move this thing back over there. And then I'm gonna talk to George about when he can finalize everything, make sure everything's good, buttoned up, and then we can take this shit home, get it to the house. All right, what's good? Just pulling back up to the house. And remember how I was telling you guys that uh, the 370Z is kind of like the equivalent to Nita's car. You guys can see I have the little diffuser in her car with the side on, add thing things. And pretty much a simple, you know, clean setup. Kind of what I'm going for for the uh, 370Z. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, wrapping this up, man. Long drive, you know, so your boy was uh, in his thoughts and thinking and shit. And, you know, this is crazy. Uh, you know, people see that, you know, you have a lot of stuff like people be like, oh, I want this stuff. You know, you got you got a lot of cars and and stuff like that as if material things kind of suppressed. Like, you know, um, other issues that, that occur, you know, it's cool to be able to jump in some of these cars and go out and and do, uh, you know, just be on the road and shit. But, you know, there is times where. Where shit hits the fan, you know, you get in your feelings and shit, and you start just reflecting and thinking about things, and it's just, you know, sets you in like a downer mood. You start overanalyzing, and that's kind of like where I'm at today. I'm just like, you know, always go through points where I'm just like, man, I'm so tired of this shit. I'm so over this shit. But part of not giving up is just because I know I got so many young people watching and looking at me. And I get so many comments and messages, DMs and stuff like, oh, bro, you motivate me to keep going, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's like so, you know, people when people or people are saying that and, you know, you feeling like you have to be like this icon for people. And, you know, it's not like it has to be a friend, you know, it's, it's, you know, this is me, just genuine me. I give you all 100 percent of who I am, what I am. So for when people tell me that, oh, you know. You motivate me and all this, just like, man, like the reason I'm still doing this shit is because y'all are motivating me to keep doing it. So uh, today is one of those days where I'm just like, I'm over it. I'm kind of like, I'm, I literally want to just like sell everything and just just walk away from it. But, you know, the hard part of doing all that is just you got so many people watching and, you know, I don't want people to feel like, oh, if this fool gives up, maybe it's okay for us to give up. But, you know, having, I can promise y'all, man, having material stuff having money uh you know all that stuff is like it doesn't it doesn't fill voids it doesn't doesn't make things complete yeah they're they're fun but you know when you're sitting there on the long trip long drive or late at night and just sitting there thinking about shit it's like man you start thinking about other options and you know things that you want to do and you know we all we all go through that man that's just that's just part of life so yeah but I'm gonna go in here. I don't want to. I don't want to ramble on. Just know, man. You know, your boy is tired. I am like at that end of like, do I keep going? Do I quit? Do I stop? Do I do something else? You know, I don't, I don't know. I'm really like undecisive on it, and I'm not sure. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just leave y'all with that, man. And until next time, like always, man. Love y'all greatly. Appreciate all the love, all that stuff. And yeah. <laughs>